Okay, so now we've come down here to the pool part of West Elm Creek. Uh, a pool is the best place to measure a secchi depth because that should be about the deepest spot within the creek within um, walking distance. Uh, so we've come downstream just a little bit and as far as secchi, so this is, this is measuring for the clarity of the water. Um, I mean just right now it looks pretty uh, dark and murky but to actually test and see the depth of it we're going to use the secchi disc. Um, so usually we have um, our back to the sun, we try and enter the creek uh, downstream of where we're going to be monitoring, but usually in a pool the water's not, not going to be moving anyway. So we're trying not to disturb the sediment and try and get a true secchi depth reading. So we'll do, we'll do our best here today. So I'm just going to kind of enter in slowly, trying not to disturb much. Just kind of raise and lower the disc and kind of, ooh, and that's going to disappear even before my dust cloud gets to it. So it's going to be right about there. So each mark is a tenth of a meter. So our depth was one, two, three, four at the fourth mark. So that would equal 0.4 meters and I could not see it on the bottom so we actually got a true secchi depth reading. Now usually in Oklahoma surface water streams the creeks are quite clear and the depth is not too deep so that's why we have a question on the data sheet you just circle yes or no was the disc visible on the bottom of the creek yes or no if it's not then that's a true secchi depth reading if you could see it then really you're just measuring the depth of the creek on that day at that time which is still viable data for us to use as well. Okay, so we've uh, done our dissolved oxygen collections on our sample water bottle. We filled those on the upstream side of our riffle. Uh, we got our air temperature first, then our water temperature second. We filled out our data sheet. We just did our secchi depth reading, so now we're ready to pack up everything in our bag. And we have monitored West Elm Creek for the day. And we're ready to go back up to our vehicle, go back indoors to do the rest of our testings. And uh, we've had a great day in the field today.